how do you feel about binding books with unusual things? Like foreskin? Yeah. Yeah, I probably wouldn't buy a book how made about of foreskin. Just, how about not foreskin then, just normal skin? Yeah, cool. Because, uh... Human or animal? Human. Interesting. Because Arsene Houssay, who is, uh... This old dead French writer. He wasn't dead when he was a writer. He was alive, but yeah. then he died afterwards. After he'd done all the writing. Mm. He um, gifted one of his books to his friend, uh, Dr. Ludovic Boulland, who then bound the book in uh, the skin of an unclaimed body of a female mental patient who had died of a stroke. I Why? Like Here's a picture of the book. It looks a bit yellowish. It looks like it's been bound in some sort of yellow leather. But recently in Harvard, they've done all sorts of tests on it and found that the stories are true. It has actually been bound with human skin. Why? What What did he gain from that? Because the book was... Um, it was a meditation on the soul and life after death, apparently. That's how Hussein himself described it. And so Dr. Ludovic Boulogne... L- Ludovic Boulogne... Sorry. He thought that the uh, the book should be bound in skin because um, a book about the human soul deserves to have a human covering. That's what you thought. Meh. I think as long as nobody minds, like that was an unclaimed body, yeah? <laughs> yeah. Well, obviously nobody gave a shit about that person. Yeah. And she was mental. And right? this is, I think this is in the 1880s. So. Yeah. I don't see anything wrong with that. I mean, it's a bit weird now, but we're judging it by today's sort of standards of normality. Well, uh, apparently this has occurred since at least the 16th century. It's called anthropodermic bibliopagy. Bibliopagy? Bibliopagy? Probably none of those. <laughs> yeah, it's probably a different place. You've probably messed term. that up. Hilarious. Yeah, probably, I'll probably ruin that. Um, and this is something that apparently has happened quite regularly in the past. Not necessarily quite regularly, but, you know... Occasionally, at least. It says here, the confessions of criminals were occasionally bound in the skin of the convicted, for example. That's interesting. Poetic, isn't it? Poetic that's, yeah. justice. Um, an individual, for example, in the past might have requested to be mor- memorialised for family or lovers in the form of a book. Which is quite an attractive idea. Yeah, I quite like that. I think when I die, yeah. I could go for that. This is Just... what I thought when I read it, but then I thought maybe I shouldn't, on a podcast, announce... Right, when I die, because that might be later on, when yeah. I die, bound a book. Well, no, I wouldn't just like to ban any book. I'd like to present my family and next Harry Potter kin 4. with... HP4. First edition of my autobiography. <laughs> just bound in my own skin. But only face skin. <laughs> That's the name of the autobiography as well, Bound in My bound Own Skin, my own the Jake skin. Iver story. Written by Matthew Wright. <laughs> <laughs> Not MD. Yeah. Um, yeah, I don't see anything wrong with that. I think obviously people are looking and go, oh, that's creepy, that's weird. Yeah. It is weird, but... It's definitely know. weird. It, I think it's more weird because the person didn't consent to it. it was yeah, just, yeah. It's, the, the weird part is that... It was just a reg woman. I mean, the other two examples, the confessions of criminals occasionally being bound on the skin of the convicted and people requesting to be memorialised for family lovers in the form of a book. Those two things... The person whose skin binds the book is significant in both of those situations. Yeah. But here, an unclaimed mental patient who died of a stroke. I think that's the creepy side of it. That's Definitely. a bit weird. Yeah. I think that uh, Dr. Ludovic Boulon should have waited for somebody else to die to do it. Should have waited for a more poignant person bit instead of, skin. of just a regular. I mean, it was the 1880s. People were dying all over the place. Wait right a right week. Center. Wait a week and you'll get another dead. But, what's wrong with using just a random person? Well, nothing's wrong with it. It just takes away from some of the poetry. Because you say... I mean, he said um, a book about the human soul deserves to have a human covering. Yeah. Which human? Oh, I, oh, I don't know her name. <laughs> I just yeah, found that's her. true. But surely, it's not about a specific soul. It's about the human soul as a, as a concept. Yeah, and so true. maybe anonymity adds something to it. In yeah, that sense, then. it doesn't matter who the person is. But then, if you bound a book about the human soul in human skin, and then four weeks later you show off at a dinner party and you realise that 
there's track marks all over the bibliography and you realise oh hang on a second this person died of a heroin overdose and like yeah. I've just realised I don't know anything about this person hang on a second there's a tattoo here that says love mum yeah that's yeah you know people do that I I don't know a person but I I have encountered a person whose parents have their granddad's tattoo like framed yeah that's weird like a bit of the skin yeah that's so weird have you seen it I've not seen it like I don't know them that well but she's like yeah it's a bit creepy and while it is a bit strange like it's human it, remains that's what's strange about it like if it holds some significance and the person has consented to that or as the next of next of kin you can decide what to do with that body and it's legal then what's mm. wrong with that I imagine this wasn't legal oh it must have been it was the 1880s fuck it who cares yeah it's a long time ago we used to rob corpses and stuff in those days yeah and that was legal wasn't it yeah yeah maybe <laughs> but I think no but yeah is it legal now no. to put into your will when I die you give you can give your body to science yeah can I say I want my this and that you can make yourself a ring you can become let's google you can shoot yourself into space can what I can say you... I want my skin to form a small little poof for my, small poof for my kid to rest his feet on um, who has the right to make decisions about your funeral? I'm Googling now. I'm trying to find out what you can legally do with your own remains. Oh, there's a lot of words here. That's, I didn't expect that. Because as long as you're not a burden to the state, I don't think it matters. Yeah, they'd be thankful for it. Because you're... It comes back to the whole private property argument. Is that if it's in your will, you should be allowed to do anything. And as long as your next of kin go, yeah, all right, then whatever. If they go, I don't want his head stuffed and put on the front door. But that's what he wanted, Mary. Well, I go, fuck him, I don't care what he wanted. He was alcoholic. Yeah, but, you know, he was also um, a member of the uh, Neighbourhood Watch. So. Oh, that's true, yeah, put him on the front door. He voted on the, the great pamphlet disaster of 06. He voted no, they went with yes, and we all know what happened there, don't we, Mary? So... Pamphlets yeah. everywhere. Yeah, too many pamphlets. Accidentally printed off 500 when they need to print off 50. So we all got 10. Yeah, yeah, we all got 10. Nine in the bin. It's the waste of trees. Yeah. If it was, wasn't for Nigel, then that would have been a bit closer to happening than it was. I mean, it did happen, so really Nigel didn't <laughs> Nigel do anything was a bit to prevent of a waste that. Of time. Yeah. But at least he voiced his opinion. Yeah, he tried. That's more than I could say for you, Mary. I was too young to vote. Dad died when I was six. <laughs> Don't care. Um, yeah, I'm not going to read this. Hang on, I'll just read the last paragraph of this article on human remains. I've not vetted this. This might get us nowhere. What's the bottom line when it comes to control of a descendant's remains? Preference is generally given to the descendant's wishes. However, no, decadent, not descendant. Decadent, what's that? D-E-C-E-D-E-N-T. Dead person. Yeah. I'll just I'll just go with corpse. I'll yeah. say corpse. Precedents are generally given to the corpse wishes. However, no one has an absolute right to dictate what will happen to his or her own remains. Because of their quasi-property rights, the corpses next of kin can overrule the corpse's wishes and make the final decision for the corpse. Unless, of course, the court denies those which based on public health concerns or the norms of society. The norms of society. Well, we had, there was a case recently around here Mm -hmm. of a Hindu who passed away and in his will he wanted to be burnt on a pyre. Good, terrorist. <laughs> he wanted to be burnt on a pyre oh, yeah. in his garden. Yeah. And so they went ahead and did it. Yeah. And a lot of people were like, well, that's bad. And I think they got taken to court, but it was fine. Oh. But I think you should be able to do anything. Who Is that big Hindu thing, burning on a pyre? Well, they all go to the Ganges, don't they? Not all of them. All Hindus are cremated. Yeah, but not... Not all of them go to the Ganges, but they're all <laughs> yeah. cremated. Right. That's why, have you ever seen those pictures of the Ganges? Yeah, it's full of dead bodies. Full of, like, yeah, literal floating dead yeah. bodies. And then 50 people yards to it, the right, people brushing their brushing teeth, their teeth in, it, yeah. in it. yeah. But I think you should be allowed to do anything with your body. If you and your next of kin consent to it. I don't know, though, because what about... I think you should be able to do anything barring things that harm other people or... Yeah, I'm not saying that if I die tomorrow, I should be allowed to be put on a pike and put in the front yeah. garden. Like if I say... Because that's going to offend other people. 
But if I want to be burnt, or if I want to be turned into X, or if I want to be bound in a book and given to somebody, who cares? Yeah, but then if I was to say, right, I want you to bind books with my skin and then leave them on train seats. Yeah, I'm not going to do that. Or if I said stretch the skin from my testicles over the front window shield of a bus. Yeah, but that's interfering in others. Exactly, yeah. That's the difference. I I suppose that's quite a black and white issue, really. (laughs) It's, It's quite... Cut and dry. That's another thing we've solved today on TLDR. Human remains. What to do? Yeah. So you found a corpse. 